Today, I'm going to take you through every fix for stuttering and freezing in Warzone 2. We're starting with a setting that I still see so many players having set wrong, and it's one of the biggest culprits of the stuttering and the freezing that we're getting in the game at the moment, and that is video memory scale. You can see on the right here, it sets the percentage target amount of VRAM for Warzone 2 to use. I still see so many people recommending that you max this out at 90 because it gives you the most available VRAM, and therefore you get the best FPS. Well, that's just completely wrong. Having your video memory scale set too low or too high leads to really really terrible 1% lows in terms of your FPS, and that's what's actually causing all the stuttering you're seeing. So how do you find out the correct value to set here? Well, there's a couple of options. The first and most accurate method is only available if you have Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, and that's to use the in-game benchmark. The in-game benchmark will push all of your components to the game's limit and will give you some really useful information at the end. In the system information list at the end of the benchmark, you will see a percentage of your total VRAM that was used during that benchmark. This percentage value is what you want to set your video memory scale in the set settings as close to as possible. If you're running a pretty strong GPU like my 3090 and you're getting below 50% VRAM usage, then you won't be able to go actually below 50 on the video memory scale. So just set it to the minimum of 50 and you'll be fine. If you don't have the Modern Warfare 2 benchmark, then I'd recommend you just do a bit of educated trial and error. If you're running a pretty strong GPU like a 30 series Nvidia or above, then just set this to the minimum of 50. You're not going to be going above 50% VRAM usage at all with low settings. And if you're running a medium or lower power GPU, the best thing I can recommend is at least just try by turning this down from 90 to one of these medium settings, something around 70, and see if this helps you stuttering. For the next fix today, we're staying in the same area of the settings, and you need to scroll down to the shadow and lying area, specifically to the setting spot cache. Now, most of you guys who have probably dialed in best settings or just want to get the best FPS have probably put this to low alongside a lot of other stuff, but that's incorrect. The best setting for this is actually ultra. It doesn't give a very good description of what this is really doing, but it says that it sets the cache size of spotlight shadows. The assumption here is that by setting this cache size to its max of ultra, we can store as many of these spotlight shadows as possible so that when it has to re-render them in later on, we don't get that stuttering. It just pulls from the cache. Whether that's the exact explanation or not, you need to be setting this to ultra in order to reduce your stuttering dramatically. The last thing game setting we're going to be changing is especially useful for anyone who is having a lot of stuttering in the plane drive drop sequence right at the start of the game but it's a weird one turning on weapon motion blur fixes all that stuttering for a ton of people i've seen this all over twitter all over reddit people are saying that this is the fix unfortunately it then means you do have weapon motion blur on maybe you can come in here and turn it off once you've landed if that suits you or maybe you just play with weapon motion blur on it's up to you but i don't have any explanation for this i personally don't need it so i keep it off but it's a fix that a lot of people are swearing by next up you probably know that there are two different launchers on pc that you can download and run warzone 2 on they are battlenet and steam there are a bunch of reports saying that for whatever reason, the Battle.net version of the game is causing a load more performance issues, including crashing, freezing, and stuttering than the Steam version. Whilst this doesn't make a huge amount of sense because it's the same game running on both, it could be something to do with something going on in the back end or the overlay to do with the Battle.net launcher in comparison to Steam. Either way, make sure that you are running Warzone 2 on Steam at the moment. It's free to play anyway, so it's not going to cost you any more money to download it on here. For the next fix, you just need to go down to the Windows search bar and search for graphics settings. Click on that and you'll have this setting called Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling or HAGS. Now, HAGS, as it says here, should reduce latency and improve performance, especially in a load of different games. But for some reason in Warzone 2, it is a big problem to have it on. HAGS causes a ton of problems in Warzone 2, from visual glitches to lower FPS, and specifically stuttering, crashing, and general instability. So if Warzone 2 is your main game, just turn this off and then restart your PC to have the settings take effect. Now, your GPU driver could be a cause for a bunch of different problems in Warzone 2, especially that kind of stuttering and freezing that you're seeing. Uh, even if you've been keeping it up to date, what you need to do is come to the Activision support website and you'll find the PC system requirements for Call of Duty Warzone 2. You can find this on Google very, very easily. And when you scroll down, you'll find a recommended driver for NVIDIA and Intel. For me, I've got an NVIDIA card and it says it recommends 526.86. Well, if I go into my GeForce experience, you'll see I have NVIDIA game driver 528.02 available, but I haven't updated to it. I am still on currently installed 526.86 because that's what the game recommends. So until this updates to something new, 
I'm not going to be updating my card. My final recommendation today for NVIDIA GPU users is to go to your desktop, right click and open up the control panel and then go to the manage 3D settings area, scroll on down until you find shader cache size and you want to set this to either 100 gigabytes or even unlimited. By default, it might be somewhere down here, very, very small. This works in a pretty similar way to a very similar explanation to the spot cache option that we set in game earlier. Essentially, it's a similar thing. We're storing a lot more stuff in our cache, so we're not having to completely re-render it in every time we come across it in game. If you're worried about setting this so high that it takes up lots of space on your hard drive, do not worry. As you can see, my NVIDIA folder, which contains all of the shader cache for all of my games, it's only 1.53 gigabytes on my system. So really nothing to worry about. Guys, if you found any of the info in today's video helpful or informative, then why not like the video down below and also subscribe for more of my content coming very soon. And also next up, you need to watch this video where I take you through the best build for any assault rifle in Warzone 2, actually using the stats of the attachments. You don't want to miss it.